Hi, we are working in chapter five on equilibrium of rigid bodies. So here we have a beam that is supported by a pin at A. A pin can restrict two uh, motions, which is up right or left, or up and down. Therefore, it's restricted in two degrees of freedom, therefore has two reactions. And then we have the tension of this cord. This point is called B, I think, yeah. So, we have the tension of this cord. So, the first thing that we have to do, first of all, we like to establish with coordinate system we will use. So, we will use X and Y. Remember, X, this is our inertia coordinate system, X and Y. And if we use this coordinate system, C goes to towards me, therefore, Contract clockwise is a positive moment, and clockwise is a negative moment. So the first thing that we will do always when we are solving a, a, an equilibrium problem in rigid bodies, are, so in particles, is to draw our free body diagram. Free body diagram. And I will choose to draw the free body diagram, of course, of this beam. That means isolating the beam from the surroundings. It means I will take this pin out and I will cut the rope. Therefore, I have my beam over here. And I will draw first the active forces, which are those two forces that I apply to my beam. And then I will draw the reactive forces. The reactive forces are the forces in the support. In this case, this pin that produces two reactive forces, AX and AY, and I will cut, so to say, my rope, so I will draw it till here, So, and that's a tension. And it's a reactive force as well, that is a tension of that rope. Remember that this can never push the ropes or cords are only able to pull. So this rope over here has to go in this direction. Let's put our dimensions. We have 30 degrees over here. We know this distance, which is 1.5, and this one that is 1. And we know this angle right here, right, theta, because we know that this triangle theta has four are three as size and five as a hypotenuse. So we know that the cosine of theta will be four over five, and the sine of theta will be three over five. Now that we have everything established in our free body diagram, then now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So the second step is equation of equilibrium. Since this is a rigid body in 2D, we know that we have three equations of equilibrium, which is moment respect to one point, adding forces in X, and adding forces in Y. So let's start by taking moment respect to one point, because when we take moment respect to A, for example, we will have only one unknown, which is the tension. So I will start by adding moments at A, and this will be equals to zero because we are in equilibrium. Therefore, which forces produce moment respect to A? As you see, this force produces moment, and I have to find the perpendicular distance. Either I find the perpendicular component to the beam, or I found the perpendicular distance. So remember that moment is in, if I want to do the scalar approach, is distance times force, and distance is perpendicular to the force. So therefore, we have to look for the perpendicular distance. The perpendicular distance will be 1.5 cosine of 30, right, times 800, and the sine of that moment, as you see, I plug, I, since I'm using the scalar approach, I will use the right-hand rule. And uh, as you see, it will be 
my distance goes over here and I cross my fingers towards the force, so it gives me a clockwise moment, therefore it's a negative moment. Now I do the same for the second force, and I slide my force to here, and my distance will be this one right here, which is perpendicular to that force. And as you see, that will be 2.5, 2.5 cosine of 30, right, because it's the adjacent to this hypotenuse, times the force, which will be 350. And what is the sign? As again, I put my hand over here. This is the point where I'm taking moment. I curl my fingers towards the force, and it gives me a clockwise, so it's a negative. Now I have to take the moment. Let me actually, I don't have that much space. Let me write this a little bit smaller. Sorry about that. Very quickly. 1.5 cosine of 30, 800 minus 2.5 cosine of 30, 350. Okay, so now I have the moment produced by the tension, right? And that will be, this is the moment produced by the tension. Let's see. What I'm going to do is decompose my tension in Y and tension in X. The tension in X will be times cosine and the tension in Y will be times sine of. And the distance, I, if I slide that over here, you see that this distance over here will be 2.5 sine of 30 so that's the distance that I will multiply for dx and that moment will be contraclockwise and is positive so I have 2.5 sine of 30 tension and in x, we say that we multiply by 4 point over 5, right? And then we have the moment produced by dy. So that will be 2.5 cosine of 30. And the moment will be also positive, 2.5 cosine of 30, t 3 fifth. And all that will be equals to 0. So as you see here, let me rewrite it with all these signs and cosines. So the, here we have negative 1.5 cosine of 30 is 3 square root of 3 over 2 times 800 minus 2.5 square root of 3 over 2 times 350 plus 2.5. Sine of 30 is 1 half, 4.5 tension plus 2.5 cosine of 30 square root of 3 over 2 for 3 over 5 tension equals to 0. So as you see here, my only unknown is the tension, so I can actually pull out the tension right here and solve for the tension. So I'm going to do that, solve for T, and I get that the tension is equal to 7, 6. And since these forces were in Newton, my units are Newtons. Remember, I could use even, I could even write that as 782 Newtons. So I round my result. However, I like you to remember that use at least two or three, actually four, will be better decimals for, for further calculations so you don't have any rounding errors. Now that we have the tension, now we can add forces in x, and then my x will be ax, right? I, these two forces act in y, so I only have tx, and tx is the tension cosine of this angle, and this is four fifths. So it will be negative tension, 4 over 5, equals to 0. 
Therefore, here I can solve for AX. And AX is equals to 625 newtons. And I saw that my last equation, which is adding forces in Y, will give me AY minus this active force minus this active force plus the tension in Y. And we say that the tension in Y is the tension times sine of this angle, which is 3 over 5. This is equals to zero. So I plug the value of t in this equation and I am able to solve for ay. And the result for ay will be equals to 681 newtons. Everything gave me positive values, so of course that the, the chord is in tension. And that means that this force goes in this direction, as I assume it first, and this force goes in this direction. And this is the solution of the problem.